In this episode, we'll be road tripping in the Western Isles of Scotland, riding on the islands of Skye, Rassie and Harris. Three, two, one, drop it. My name is Scotty Lachlan and this is Scotty's Scotland Showcase. This season, we're going on some big adventures, exploring parts of Scotland I didn't know existed and discovering some amazing single track. The Western Isles is relatively unknown for mountain biking, but it's somewhere I've always wanted to discover more of. Whilst there are very little established mountain bike trails, there is a network of mountain paths that connect villages and abandoned settlements which make for some incredible raw riding and adventures. The terrain is wild, untamed, and every corner you turn, the scenery just gets better. We left early that morning to maximize our time. It's a four and a half hour drive from central Scotland, and the first island we'd be visiting is Skye, the largest of the Inner Hebrides. We'd have five days to try and discover what riding was an offer in the islands. The weather on the way up wasn't great, but we wanted to ride. So we pulled into Slagakin, jumped out, kitted up, put the onesie on and decided to go and ride the Sky Trail. It's a recognized path, it's undulating, it's below the Coolin Mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. There had been so much water that the river was roaring beside us. And it was just a really nice way to immerse yourself in that true Scottish environment of getting out there no matter the weather. Sky shakedown done, it was wet, it was fun, time to go warm up. We've got some really cool adventures planned for the next few days and the weather is even due to change. Our base for the trip was Sky's capital, Portree. A small village overlooking the sea, it's a great location for being able to explore the island. Here you'll find everything you need, including some great coffee shops. Our adventure today would see us leaving Portree heading back to where we were the day before and boarding the Calmac ferry over to Rassi. Passengers cost £4.20 return and bikes go free. It'll take about 25 minutes to cross and it is a stunning journey. We've ridden onto the ferry and we're headed over to the island of Rassi. The Isle of Rassi has a population of just 160 people, over 60 square miles of land. It has a whiskey distillery, a single shop, a few roads, and a flat top mountain that sits at 443 meters above sea level. The main village is in Verarish and civilization dates back to the sixth century. We're just waiting for the cars to come off and then the bikes are off next. While we were on the ferry, we met Ben, who is a local in the Isle of Skye. He was taking the ferry to the Isle of Rassi to meet his friend Ollie. They were both going mountain biking. They'd been building some trails and they actually invited us to come and check out their local spot. They've brought us up, they're so stoked. One of their bikes isn't really working. So I was like, yo, you wanna take my bike? and they're just buzzing on it. Gonna drop in any second over this little jump and we'll see what they got. You ready, boys? It's just pretty Shit. cool to see kids stoked in a place like this. If I was 12 year old, met someone that I watched on YouTube and they could inspire me somehow, I'd be, I'd be so stoked. It'd fire me up and yeah, it's rad to see them just excited about playing on the bike and, and riding this trail. It's, the trail's like 
200 meters in length and has a couple of features, a couple of little spicy sections. And yeah, so rad, so cool. Right, who's leading me down this last little bit of trail then? After riding with the boys, we headed to the Isle of Rassi Distillery to sample some spirits before making our way towards our planned route. You can climb straight off the boat to the trails, making this an awesome micro adventure. Our plan is to summit Duncan, and to get to the starting point, it's a relatively easy climb on a tarmac road for about six kilometers. We decided to follow some local advice and do this as an up and down rather than doing it as a loop. From the distillery, we've pedaled up the road and now we're ascending Duncan. Duncan is the highest mountain on Rassi. It's a flat top, you've got views onto the mainland, onto sky, and it is absolutely beautiful today. So far, the ascent's been pretty easy going. I think it's gonna make for a really nice descent. We've made it to the top of Duncan and I cannot tell you how beautiful it is. We've got the coolants of sky, Apple Cross on the mainland, views all around us that you don't actually know where to look and we're about to drop into the descent. It's rocky, it's technical and I'm excited for it. The views from the summit were absolutely amazing and the descent matched that. It was fast, flowy and rich in features. We timed it to descend as the sun was setting, and with that came the added stress of having to rush to make the last ferry. Absolutely incredible time riding on Duncan. Such a fun descent. We had to rush off the hill and we have just made the last ferry which is coming into port to take us back to Sky. And then we've got some more adventures to come. It's so cool that you can do adventures like this. We jump on the ferry in the morning ride to the top of a mountain, descend, and then take the last ferry back over. The sun is going down and it's just beautiful.
We headed back to Portree that night to rest and refuel. Our next day would be a sunrise mission. The Old Man of Storr is a rock pinnacle and the highest point stands at a height of 719 meters. It's a spectacle and viewable from many parts of the island. Legend has it that the Old Man of Storr was a giant who'd lived in the Trottenish Ridge and when he was buried, his thumb was left sticking out of the ground, creating the famous jagged landscape. I've never visited it, it's an iconic landmark and there's always been a draw and a stigma around it. We've woken up early this morning to catch sunrise on the Old Man of Storr. It's not a recognised riding spot, but it is one of the best places to watch the sunrise. It's just about to pop up and it is looking beautiful. What an absolutely beautiful place. Dude, hectic the amount of people that are here. It's procession for the summer. People can't believe there's even a mountain bike here. That's the best part. From the Old Man of Star, we headed back to Portree to refuel after an early rise. I'm a sucker for a good coffee and birch had been on my list for some time. It didn't disappoint. They roasted their own coffee and it was delicious, especially paired with a cinnamon roll. Old Man of Storr is done, pit stop in Portree for a coffee, and now we're at the ferry terminal, carrying on this adventure and heading to the Hebrides. We boarded the ferry in Uig. It was a two hour crossing to Tarbot on the Isle of Harris. The Isle of Harris is the southern part of the Scottish Hebridean island of Lewis and Harris. It's known for sandy beaches like Luskintyre on the west coast and for rugged mountains in the north. It's a beautiful place to visit and it's my first time mountain biking here. Here we go, pulling into port on the Isle of Harris. Off the ferry, it was straight to the infamous gin distillery to stock up on supplies. Tarbert, and then we're going to ride from Urga to Renegadale. We've arrived in Harris on an absolutely beautiful evening. Tomorrow the weather looks as though it might change. Who knows what it's going to bring, but we've got one heck of an adventure planned. Today we're riding the Postman's Path on the Isle of Harris. This is a route that I've been wanting to do for quite some time and we're actually following in the footsteps of a local postie who used to walk this three times a week to deliver the mail from Tarbert to Renegadale. You can do this as a loop or an out and back which is what we're doing. In 1990 a road was put in place to access the village of Renegadale so this exact path is no longer used by the postie but it's used by walkers and bikers. When we get to Renegadale, we're going to meet the girls and have a picnic.
Okay, here we go. Into the switchbacks. The switchbacks were steep, technical, and you're on the edge of the ocean. In some ways, they were scary. Even though I knew I wasn't gonna fall in or go over the edge, I still had that feeling of doubt in my mind. On the edge, in terms of technicality, and so beautiful at the same time. And look where we've ended up. I can actually smell my brake burning up. Wow. Incredible to think we've just traversed our way all through that and finished here. trail along the coast was once again epic. Lovely sections of single track and big views. We could now see the village of Renegadale, where the girls would be driving in to meet us on the road that was built in 1990. Beep, beep. We're at the halfway point on the postman's path and it's been absolutely breathtaking. I think one thing that's really got me is just the gradient, the sheer steepness of it. It's been technical, but in equal measure is so beautiful. We're about to head into Renegadale and climb back up and do it in reverse. We've made it to Renegadale and as per what the postie would have done, we're doing the return trip back to Tarbur. After we met the girls, we left running Adele to do the return leg of the journey back to Urga, where we started from. Made it to the bottom of the switchbacks, the start of the steep section. We're about to hike a bike and it's got me wondering, what's heavier, a bike in your back or the postman's sack? There's only one way to describe the climb back up. It was seriously arduous. Been dreading it for the whole ride up to them. But I have to say that when we actually did it, they were rewarding in the way that we quickly got the ascent and before you knew it you were doing one switchback, two switchback, three switchback, just ticking them off. I can't actually imagine what it must have been like for the postie having a full bag of mail walking back and forth. We reached the summit as the light began to drop and we descended all the way down to Urga where the ride had begun. Laughing, trying to avoid rocks and pick the smoothest line, this was a ride to remember. That was absolutely incredible. Epic in every sense of the word. And to think the pussy did that three times a week in all conditions, year round, hats off to him. That concludes exploring the islands. Sky, Rassi and Harris have all been amazing. Let's go and get some pizza. 
Exploring the islands like this is so much more than just mountain biking. It's about taking it all in, enjoying the breathtaking scenery, the craftsmanship, the culture, the food, the drink, the wildlife, and the journey. There's so much to see and do, and I can't wait to come back and explore some more. Thanks for watching this episode of Scotty Scotland Showcase. If you want to do any of the rides for yourself, then you can find a link in the description to the Kamut collection where you can follow it turn for turn.